Mr. Allman? Yeah? I'm Jack Torrance. Oh, well, come on in. Very nice to meet you. Oh, I made the trip in three and a half hours. Wow, that's very good. Make yourself at home. Yeah. Do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? It'll be lots of fun. There's hardly anybody to play with around here. Eating sandwich. Yeah, I know. It always takes a little time to make new friends. Yeah, I guess so. It's a torch. Come on, Tony, don't be silly. Well, how come you don't want to go? I just don't. Well, let's just wait and see. Real good time. Bill, Jack is uh, going to take care of the overlook for us this one. Formerly a school teacher. What line of work are you in now? I'm a writer. Uh, seems to me that the skiing up here will be fantastic. It's a 25 mile stretch of road. It gets an average of 20 feet of snow during the winter, and there's just there's yeah. no way to keep it uh, clear. There's a lot of snow. And the place, and this site was chosen for its seclusion and scenic beauty running the boiler, heating different parts of the hotel on a daily rotating basis. Well, that sounds fine to me. Tremendous sense of isolation. Mm, isolation. Well, that <clears throat> just happens to be exactly what I'm looking for. Writing project. And I think. Five months of peace is just what I want. Isolation can of itself become a problem. Okay. Not for me. How about your wife and son? They'll love it. Great. Mm, really? The thing I think uh, that thing. Tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970. What tragedy? I don't believe they did. Kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran a muck mm. and uh, killed his family with an axe. Yes. And he put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. Police. Uh, okay. Called cabin fever. Shut in together over long periods of time. That's terrible. Well, quite a story. Mm. <laughs> Well, obviously, I mean, some people can be put off by the idea of staying alone in a place where something like that actually happened. Mm. Not going to happen with me. Okay. I'm sure she'll be absolutely fascinated when I tell mm -hmm. her about the ghost story and horror film addict. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad'll get the job. He already did. Oh, it's just stunning. Hello. Hello. Hi, babe. Sounds like you got the job. Right. You and Danny are going to love it. Mm, this Tony dramatic Tony music, to to talking to Tony himself. Bottle of blood. And this is imagination or something. He's sick. Daddy, do you remember if you smelled anything funny? Anything at all strange? Well, not blood. No. No. Do you remember when you were brushing your teeth? So I didn't remember anything. Yes. And I was saying, wake up, wake up. Wake up, Danny, wake up. Can you remember what you... Just before you started brushing your teeth. Talking to Tony. Mm. Is Tony, Tony one of your... is himself. No, he's a little bit loose in my mouth. Okay. Very... Could I see Tony? Because he hides. Mm. Where does he Don't go? like people. In my stomach. I won't talk about Tony anymore. Mm. Okay. That's fine. We're just going to go in the other room for a few minutes and talk. Bye. It's like the whitest room ever. Please, thank you. Kids can scare you to death, but believe me, these episodes are not at all uncommon. And they look much worse than they are. Episodes? Episodes with kids are never explained. They're, really? on. They're more akin to auto-hypnosis. What? We can always think about having some tests done. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you're right. She's a smoker, though. And he started talking to Tony about the time we put him in nursery school. It's a long time ago. Well then he had an injury, so we kept him out for a while. Uh, he dislocated his shoulder. My husband had uh, been drinking. We were in the greatest mood that night. Uh -huh. 
Et puis quoi, ça se perd. Il prend ses armes, vous savez, pour le mettre de lui. Il est déstocké, il est sans armes. Il a utilisé trop de strength et il a perdu Danny's arm. Oh boy. Wendy, je ne vais jamais toucher une autre drogue. Il ne l'a pas. Il n'a pas eu de alcool. Hum, c'est un peu dingue. Il s'est amusé au bois sorts. Dad? Yes? Je suis hungry. Pourquoi tu devrais manger ton breakfast? Hmm. Snowbound one winter and they had to resort to cannibalism. Yeah. You mean they ate each other, huh? Yeah. You know all about cannibalism. I saw it on TV. See, saw it on the television. Missionary. Test the hotel up the mountains. Guess we go have a quick look at your apartment and then get started straight away. I better collect my family first. Oh, <laughs> beautiful! My God, this place is fantastic, isn't it? Are all these Indian designs authentic? Yeah, I believe uh, the basics mainly on Navajo. Tata was one of the stopping places for the jet set, even before anybody yeah, knew what the jet set was. Playing darts. Girls, and that's not good. And there's a slip. Goodbye, Mr. Omen. Goodbye, girls. And here are your quarters. Living room. Perfect for a child. Cozy. Yes, very cozy for a family. Homey. Yeah. Homey. But I wouldn't want to go in there unless I had an hour to spare to find my way out. <laughs> Construction started in 1907. It's finished in 1909. Because basically, the snowcat operates very much like a car, and it won't take you long. No kids. Pink and gold are my favorite colors. Ah, well, this is our gold ballroom. We always remove all the booze from the premises when we shut down. That we don't drink. <laughs> well, then you're in luck. Alan, I'm Jack. How to meet you, Jack? My wife Winifred. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How do you folks like our hotel so far? Oh, it's just wonderful. Hi, Danny. Hi, Don. Right this way, Mrs. Torrance. Great. See you later, hon. Bye, Don. I'm a Wendy. Oh, Wendy, that's nice. That's the prettiest. How do you like it, Danny? Is it big enough for you? Yeah. It's the best place I've ever seen. <laughs> I leave a trail of breadcrumbs every time I come in. <laughs> Don't worry about food, because you folks have eat up here a whole year and never had the same menu twice. Mm. Now this is where we keep all Pigeon. of our meat: two dozen of pork rolls and twenty legs Jeez, of lamb. A lot. You like lamb, Doc? No. You don't. Doc, you called Danny Doc twice just now. I did. Yeah. We don't remember calling him that since we've been with you. Nah. What's up, Doc? <laughs> This is where we keep all the dry goods and the pickets put. Hot and cold syrup. Why is this so? Still got a dozen jugs of black molasses. What's going on? Would you like some ice cream, Doc? Yes. Dried apricots, dried raisins, and dried prunes. It's a best man, Bill. Ice cream, Doc? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you did. You folks. Okay, you behave yourself. Now, what kind of ice cream do you like, Doc? Chocolate. Do you know how I knew your name was Doc? Oh. You know what I'm talking. I can remember when I was a little boy. He didn't check it or something. Grandmother, without ever opening our mouths, shining, shining. They don't know it or don't believe it. How long have you been able to do it? Why don't you want to talk about it? Hmm. Says you ain't supposed to. Tony. Tony. There you go. Imaginary friend. He's a little boy that loves my mouth. Oh, Tony told me never to tell him. 
about the Overlook Hotel? Overlook Hotel. I don't know. Things that people who shine, things that haven't happened yet. Well, people who can shine can notice. This particular hotel over the years. Yeah, I can imagine. What about room two three seven? Two three seven is the haunting room. You're scared room two three seven, ain't you? Uh oh. Can't tell. It's in room two three seven. Uh oh. Nothing. There ain't nothing in room two three seven. Nothing. A month later, I think he's going to go into the room two three seven. Good morning, hon. It's about 11.30. 30. Jesus. <laughs> I guess we've been staying up too late. It's a matter of settling back into the habit of writing every day. Wow, it's on pimp on the mirror there. Yeah, it's amazing how fast you get used to such a big place. You can tell about the murders. Okay. Like a mess. Just a mess. But you can see. This thing. Rutherford was serving a life sentence for his conviction in the 1968 shoot. From 237. Get a lot written today? The weather forecast said it's gonna snow tonight. Snow? What do you want me to do about it? Don't be so grouchy. I want to finish my work. Mm. Becoming insane. Okay, I understand. Wendy, <clears throat> let me explain. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. Mm. Well, then take your time to get back to where I was. Yes. We're gonna make a new rule. Whenever new rule. Here, you hear me typing. Whether you don't hear me typing, whether the fuck you hear me doing in here when I'm in here, that means that I am working. That okay. means don't. don't you start right now and get the fuck out of here. Mm. Okay. Same thing. Test Yeah, playing the song. Okay, Saturday. I knew it. Calling somebody or something. This is KDK12 calling KDK1. Hi, how are you folks getting on up there? Over? Oh, we're just fine. Blinds down by any chance? Over. Yes, quite a few of them are down due to the storm. Man, the pants on? Over. Mm. That way until spring. Over. Yes. Scam. Oh, yes, it's one of the few folks have any problems up there. Just give us a call. And Mrs. Torrance. Keep your radio on all the time now. Mm. Bye. Over and out. Okay. Two girls. Hello, Danny. Come and play with us. Ever and 
站。现在，这是图哥这边买的。我们好，可能好不多呢。嗯，问题，我先开了个灯。Daddy's asleep. I won't make any noise. Can't you wait till later? I won't make a sound. I promise I'll tiptoe. Tiptoe. Really, don't make a sound. Hmm. Hmm. Sticking out. He's not sleeping. Can I go to my room and get my fire engine? Come here for a minute first. Hmm. I want you to have a good time. You feel bad? No. You know something? Do you like this hotel? Yeah. Hmm. I wish we could stay here forever. You would never hurt mommy and me, would you? Big question. Did your mother ever say that to you? Uh. -oh. I love you more than anything else. Hmm. Very intense, Cindy. Put it there. The two girls get a lot in USA. Room two, three, seven, seven. The sun got shine. It's here. It's screaming. Then they go there or something. Yeah. Yeah. Honey, what's wrong? Drilling. Terrible nightmare I ever had. Nightmare. Killed you with Danny. Yeah. Cut you up in little pieces. Nah, that's not good. Everything's gonna be alright. What's up, buddy? Danny. Danny? Everything's okay. Ed's just got a headache. Danny, not what I say. Don't that ain't no headache. Oh my God. Yes. Danny, what happened to your neck? That's not good. This place is like not there. You did this to him, didn't you? What? Um, I'm claiming him. I called him. I'm saying bye. Hi, Lloyd. A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> it's all wrong. You slipped me a bottle of bourbon. A little glass and some ice. It seems I'm temporarily light. <laughs> no money. Damn bartender from Timbuktu to Portland, Maine. To five miserable months on the wagon. Just a little problem with the uh, old sperm bank upstairs. <laughs> Women can't live with them, can't live without them. Mm. It's of wisdom, Lloyd. Not that, not the poor. I never laid a hand on him, guys. Love the little son of a bitch. <laughs> I'd do anything. I did hurt him once, okay? Mm. Three goddamn years ago. For all I try to do is pull him up. A momentary loss of muscular coordination. Muscular coordination. Again, for a second. Yeah. Thank God you're here. Dad. Dad. There's What's someone out in the hotel. Yeah. He tried to strangle Danny. The door was open and he saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. She yeah. tried to strangle him. In thousands of passengers, highways are blocked by snowdrifts. Railroad tracks are frozen. I was here the whole time. So where's that crazy woman? Oh, there she is. She's naked. Resting. 
bikin kamu Yes, it's me. No, nothing at all. Lying. I didn't see one goddamn thing. Absolutely nothing. Really? How is he? He's still asleep. Are you sure it was the right room? I mean, maybe Danny made a mistake. What about those bruises on his neck? The old woman did it to himself. Really? There is no other explanation. It's absolutely terrifying. But uh, yeah, they need to go and get out this hotel or something. Leave the hotel? Hmm. He opposes us. This is so fucking typical of you to create a problem like this when I finally have a chance to work on driveways, work in a car wash. Get that appeal to you. Jack. When you're not gonna let you okay. fuck this up. Be angry all of a sudden. Okay. On the balloons. I'm the head chef up at the Overlook Hotel. Urgent phone call up there. But the operator said that the phone lines are down. But there's a family up there all by themselves with a young kid. Mm. Call on your radio just to see if everything's okay. I'll be glad to do that, sir. Uh, what... What's up, good evening. Good to be back. No charge. The one is no good here. Mm. Here's from the house. I'm the kind of man likes to know who's buying their drink. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh. Mm. Won't keep you a moment, sir. Mine. Uh, Grady, sir. Delbert Grady. Delbert. Delbert Grady. That's right, sir. Uh. Grady, <clears throat> haven't I seen you somewhere before? Why, no, sir. <laughs> I don't believe so. <clears throat> Miss Grady, I have a wife and uh, two daughters, sir. Mm, the two daughters. Where are they now? They were oh, killed. Somewhere around. I'm not quite sure at the moment, sir. You were the caretaker here. Mm. I saw your picture in the newspapers. You uh, chopped your wife and daughter up into little bits. Mm. And you blew your brains out. He's the one who killed two totals. I don't have any recollection of that at all. Hmm. Oh, the caretaker. Uh, is he going to assist the police? I know I him. Always... <laughs> to bring an outside party into this situation. Um. But he is attempting to use that very talent against your will. <laughs> He is a very willful boy. A very willful boy. Willful. Rather naughty boy. His mother. <laughs> she uh, interferes. Corrected her. A British. Red Ram. Um, you having a bad dream? And he's not here, Mrs. Torrance. Tony talking. And he can't wake up, Mrs. Torrance. And he's gone away, Mrs. Torrance. Let's have calling. Uh, we tried to contact them several times by radio, but they didn't answer. Now, maybe they got it's their radio turned off or they're... Right, um, we're going to plan. We don't have any sleep. They call the person. Not in Florida, Larry. I'm calling from Stapleton Airport. Snow plows are keeping things moving in town, but the mountain roads are completely blocked. That means I'm going to need a snowcat to get up there, Larry. They turned out to be completely unreliable assholes. Mm -hmm. Almond phoned me last night. Okay, Dick, I'll take care of it. Oh, thanks a lot, Larry. I really appreciate that. Where's advisory for all areas yes. outlying the Denver metro region? Get the cows in the I'm just gonna go and talk to Daddy for a few minutes. Watch your cartoons, okay? Yes, Mrs. Yes, Torrance. This company possessed by Tony. I'm gonna lock the door behind me. 
baseball. I see going with a baseball bat. I see typing about one war and no play next sex in that boy. It's all the same boy, it's all the same sentence. Someone's actually typing all of them. How do you like it? Yes. Just uh, wanted to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? Mm. Baby, hey. it was about Danny. You can hear a conversation. We should discuss what should be done. I don't think that's true. I think you have some very definite ideas about what should be done with her. <laughs> you think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? <laughs> he should be taken to a doctor. <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> you are concerned about him. <laughs> and he thought about my responsibilities. Have you ever thought for a single okay, solitary time. moment about my responsibilities to me and that I have signed a letter of agreement? Has that ever occurred to you? Has it? I want to go back to my room. I'm very confused. Me too. Don't hurt me. Please, don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt. not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains. <laughs> okay. Put the bat down, Wendy. Mm. Oh, God uh, uh, well, I can't go, son. Is he going to be locked up in the prison? He's locked. I'm going to try the other room. Uh, start prison. Start this room. Let's lock up. I don't think that is necessary now. Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole goddamn thing. It'll be just okay. like nothing. I think you hurt my head real bad. No, I'm dizzy. Thing. I need a doctor. Don't tell me she's gonna open that door. Yeah, how about call the police? You got a big surprise coming to you. Right. <laughs> Go check out the snow cat in the radio. <laughs> Go check it out. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of snow. He poked up the snow car too. Grady, Mr. Torrance. Don't be Grady. I'd love to be in that room oh, eating all day. It's like a wonderful time, or to be honest. You need to rub it in, Mr. Grady. I'll deal with that situation as soon as I get out of here. Just give me one more chance to prove it. Mr. Your wife appears to be stronger than we imagined, Mr. Torrance. You give your word on that deal, Mr. Torrance? I give you my word. What in the door? Want to see Pix Maybe not. At night, it's not good. Lipstick, my dad. Red rum, red rum, red rum, red, red rum, 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 red She doesn't pet. It's locked. Little pigs, let me come in. Um. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Mm. Ah! 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 Here's Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. Ah! Ah! That's the gun. It's getting angry. Isn't he worthy of that? Upset the house. 
hiding the stars. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Jeez, that's not fun. Oh, yes, obviously, you can move on the button. Danny boy? Now we can get out. What's he doing? Party. I didn't know there was party in the house. Danny. Oh, on the mess. I'm coming! Yeah, oh, the footprints. That's so slow. Mm. The blood. It's not for Prince Lamb. Going back to the door. Let me set up. It's lost. The car. In the sense. I'm going to win. to them. The cold room. All the family photos are here. And all the people in the house. Yes. Yeah, yes. Of all the order in July. For the bomb. 1931. Yes, that's the ending of the movie there. It should be slow. It should be very slow. And then building up very slowly. So this actor name is going to say Nicholson. It's actually very really well. Some of the scenes are actually pretty hilarious now. And back in the day, it's really, really scary. Well, the challenge was in the movie of this one. And the people that I mentioned, they were like, I'm going to sit in the hospital, but I'm going to sit in the hospital. 